Praise be Jesus Christ. Dear lovers of the Word of God, welcome to Unbin Heat. Today is known as Good Shepherd Sunday because in each year of the liturgical cycle, on this fourth Sunday, the Gospel is always taken from the 10th chapter of John where Jesus speaks of himself as the Good Shepherd. Also, this day is the World Day of Prayer for Vocations. We shall pray for them at the end of the reflection. But first, let us listen to Father Beethoven Rosal as he shares with us the beauty of today's Gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know mine and mine know me. Just as the Father knows me, I know the Father. And I will lay down my life for my sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice. There will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me because I lay down my life in order to take it up again, and no one takes it from me, but I lay down on, I lay down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, Today, the Church is celebrating the Good Shepherd Sunday, and that is why we have to pray for our praise, our bishops and the Holy Father, because this Sunday is technically for them, as they were, as they are rather, giving the apostolate to be shepherd strictly speaking the bishops and our gospel reading is taken from the gospel of john let us be reminded that the gospel of john is different from the three gospels because it talks about god coming as man if you remember yesterday's gospel we are being reminded that in isaiah 54:13 that God himself will taught to his people. This is now God coming to us. It happened and it will happen during the time of Jesus Christ. And now Jesus is telling his people, we, his sheep, that he is there for us. He is our shepherd. At what kind of shepherding that Jesus will be given to us he is a shepherd who will be leading us at the same time a companion to all of us he speaks all about that intimate relationship of jesus to his people in the old testament the shepherd are being tasked not only to lead the sheep but at the same time even to give up his life in Amos chapter 3, verse, uh, verse 12, it is said, When the wolf will attack the sheep, it is the responsibility of the shepherd to get even the legs of the sheep, even at the mouth of the wolves, so that he has something to present to the owner of the sheep that he was not uh, being a paid 
personal only, but willing to lay down his life for his ship. And to do this, he has to give an evidence. That is why he has to snatch a piece of that ship in order to present that to the owner. This is how shepherds should be. And even in Exodus chapter 22, verse 12, it is said, The ship should give an evidence to the owner so that he should not be paying the amount of the ship when the ship is being attacked by the wolves. And remember, Jesus did not only get something from the ship, he himself really gave up his life so that the ship will have a new life in the resurrection. Now we can see the difference between the shepherding of Jesus and the other shepherding. Not only leading them, not only protecting them, but Jesus himself will give his life to his sheep. And the other thing that we have also to reflect on the Good Shepherd Sunday, that this Jesus who is our shepherd is not only leading us to heaven, to the pasture in which we should be there, but he is also our companion. He guide us, he walk with us along the way. And this is the beauty of this God that we worship. That is why Augustine, St. Augustine will tell us that the God that we worship is a God who loves us. The reason that Jesus will not leave his ship is simply because he loves us. That is why he joins with us even up to a very dangerous journey. He will never give us up. And this is very consoling to all of us that we have a God who will lead us and at the same time a God who will accompany us. This is not a God who is far and away from His people. That is precisely what I've been telling at the start, that the Gospel of John is telling us a God who is among us. In the prologue of the Gospel of John, he said, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And this Word dwelt among us, uh, or lived among His people. This is a God who is so close to His people. So therefore, in this Sunday, let us not be doubting of the presence of God in our life. Let us always rejoice that we have a God who lead us to heaven by giving up His life, not only protecting us, but even to the point of giving His life for each and every one of us. And this God is our companion along the way. As He will be telling us, He will be gathering His people when He will be lifted up and it happened on the cross. Therefore, let us celebrate this Good Shepherd Sunday with that confidence and that thought that this God that we worship is a God who is with us, a God who lived and journeyed with us. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, is there within us the passion to promote vocations to the consecrated life, societies of apostolic life, and diocesan priesthood? Inspire us daily to respond to your call with boundless compassion, abundant generosity, and radical availability. Help us to remember our own baptismal call and invite the next generation to hear and respond to your call. Inspire parents, families, and lay ecclesial ministers to begin a conversation with the young Catholics to consider living a life of holiness and sacred service. Ignite our church with a confident humility that there is an urgent need for religious sisters, brothers, and priests 
to live in solidarity with those who are poor, neglected, and marginalized. Disrupt our comfortable lives and complacent attitudes with new ideas to respond courageously with a daily yes. Amen. Thank you, Father Rosal, for sharing today's God's message for all of us. Thank you also, our dear sisters and brothers in faith. May the Word of God grow in our mind, in our heart, and in our will. God bless us all.